Hello, everyone. This is Zen. Today, I'm going to be talking about becoming a validator on Corium. Everything you need to know. Well, not everything. I'm just going to basically point you in the direction to do your own research because I'm still doing the research myself. It looks like it's a lot bigger of a project than I was anticipating, but I'm ready for a big project. I'm excited for this. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more. So you can see on the front page of their website, uh, they're talking about validators. So what do we know about Corium? Well, we know Corium... We are gonna get the official white paper this month. We know Corium uses Tendermint technology, so initially it will interoperate with chains like Ethereum and Cosmos. That's what Reza posted uh, on December 20th. We're still waiting for the official white paper to learn more, but Tendermint. So you're gonna to wanna to go to Tendermint Core, Tendermint Core and um, read these documents. Validators are responsible for committing new blocks in the blockchain. These validators participate in the consensus protocol by broadcasting votes, which contain cryptographic signatures signed by each validator private key. So you're gonna need some, you're gonna need some heavy duty hardware. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need to set up servers. You could watch this video, but um, you're basically helping secure a proof of stake network. And um, you're gonna need to run a full node. There's a lot that I'm still learning. You're gonna have to set up your own server. Actually, if anybody knows, this is a call for help because I'm calling this Operation Robin Hood. I'm going to show you guys some connections and you're going to see, you know, I believe there's going to be some huge institutions as validators. There's only, you know, a small, small moment in time where an average Joe could actually, you know, I believe accomplish this goal. So this is Operation Robin Hood. You know, even if this is not for everyone. You know, this is a, a large investment. You know, this is not financial advice. I'm documenting my journey. So this is definitely not for everyone. What I want you guys, what I want to let you guys know is for the people that, you know, it's way too big of an investment to become a validator. Basically the way it works, if you have Corium, you could lend your Corium voting power to um, the validators. And basically you still get a lot of benefits um, a lot of benefits for lending your voting power to these other um, validators. So my mission is to have a we the people validator. So that way, you know, everyone in the Zen lounge could de delegate to the Zen lounge validator if they do not uh, have enough quorum to set up their own validator. So that's my mission. I'm super, you know, focused on making this happen. Any tech people know what it takes to set up the validator. Please email me. And let's get this thing going. We need a whole war, a war room set up for Operation Robin Hood. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So let me show you some big connections that I found. So I was just looking through here, you know, tokenized securities, Sologenic. You go to liquidity providers and market makers, Keyrock. Keyrock. What I found about Keyrock is Keyrock raises... 4.3 million to build a universal liquidity solution for digital asset markets. Kind of sounds familiar with a GSR. They're talking about six FinTech. Um, we've seen six FinTech a lot, but Keyrock is featured right here. Keyrock is also, uh, Keyrock is licensed by the Securities and Future Commission of Hong Kong to conduct regulated activities in Hong Kong. Keyrock Capital Management is an investment management firm which specializes in investing in emerging growth companies. So this is uh, one of the market makers. And it's funny because, you know, through some of my deep, deep digging into the stellar open source blockchain, I've seen not only key, key rock plug into certain assets on the stellar blockchain, but also GSR. So Copper ex expands clear loop initiative to include uh, crypto derivatives, collateral management who's the derivatives exchange ftx you look type in ftx it's the derivatives exchange who do we believe is going to be partners with sologenics yeah that's the derivatives right there copper expands clearloop initiative to include crypto derivatives collateral management do you guys realize how big this is clearloop is copper.co who connects to gsr more market making people and uh, I'll show you why that matters over here. Uh, so, so much. By the way, FTX is saying, 
family offices and pension funds are just waiting for regulatory clarity to invest in crypto. Basically, FTX is saying there's large, large, large amounts of money waiting on the sidelines, waiting to be dumped into crypto. That's big. So look, here we have uh, GSR, GSR, who's partners with Ripple. Oh, we actually partner with Kava. Kava. Kava is working to bring the interledger to Cosmos, remember, and Tendermint. So Kava is partners with Cosmos, Ripple, GSR, Arrington. All right here. GSR uh, used Ripples in a world game, in a, in a gaming thing. 2013, GSR became one of the first market makers on Ripple's consensus ledger. Ripple uniquely affords market makers opportunity to reduce the cost of remittance for people everywhere. Uh, you guys should look this thread up and watch these videos he's talking about. Actually, I'll just play this video for you guys. He's actually talking about games, something that we said gaming would be pretty big this year because games are going to help teach people how to enter, you know, the blockchain economy. Different to, to other virtual reality games is that there's this marketplace underpinning it that's powered by decentralized crypto economics. It's relatively easy for gamers to purchase digital assets within the games. This is a huge revenue stream for, for the gaming companies. Uh, this is only going to keep growing. Um, the problem that these gamers have is, yes, it's easy to purchase that laser sword. Some people spend thousands of dollars on something like that. Once you're done with that sword, there isn't really a resale market for it. Or if there is, the only bid you're going to find for your $2,000 sword is now $200 on some shady forum, some guy you've never met. When you do decide to sell it for 200 bucks, his PayPal payment never came through. You just got scammed. I guess it was a natural next step to use a Ripple protocol to allow the, the users or the citizens of, of Beachhead to trade these, these different digital assets. My main role within the Beachhead project has to do with market making. I'm going to be building and maintaining liquid markets for any number of different crosses. Within Beachhead, I'm, GSR is going to be making markets on the Beachhead token against all the digital assets that are offered within the game. In parallel, we also have to make liquid markets between the Beachhead token and all the other crypto assets that exist currently, XRP, Bitcoin, Ether, etc. And, and by doing that and having gateways connected to, we're making markets on a synthetic digital asset within Beachhead against Bitcoin and such and such exchange. Doesn't GSR sound like Jasara? <laughs> okay, guys, let's keep let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. Uh, watch out for this uh, Ripple crypto. This crypto was already basically out that allows uh, securities on Ripple and many others. Where is it? But yeah, guys, uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of education and workshops that we'll have to attend. See Tendermint host a session on how to run a validator. So for the people that want to become a validator, it's not going to be easy. I mean, we're probably going to have to spend at least a couple grand in computer equipment. It's like setting up a business, setting up a, a whole enterprise. So, you know, um, this is why it's important for you to do your own research. Stop following me. and you have to do your own research. Now, I've never been in a position where I've spoke to a lot of people. Like I said, I just created this YouTube channel not even a year ago. And now I'm speaking to 8,000 people. So it's a little bit weird. I just like to share my information, my research. And then a bunch of people, you know, <laughs> it just it's just crazy how, thank you everyone for the support. Thank you for helping this channel grow. Um, please continue to give me a thumbs up. Please leave some comments. And uh, let's see what happens. You know, there's some, if you click on these, I mean, they have Swift right here. BlockFi, Nexfo. They're planning to integrate with OpenSea. There's that Binance relationship, that Binance relationship. 
heard once we go live with Binance, there's going to be stake. You could wrap your solo and stake your solo on Binance. So do your own research. Uh, I'll put the uh, information for the validators below. And everybody have an awesome day. Peace.